Yeah, we got a cool one here for you all. We got the Milwaukee Surge quarter inch hex driver sent over by Acme Tools for us to take a look at. Today we're going to use it, we're going to abuse it, we're going to drive all kinds of different fasteners into treated wood. We'll talk about all the things it can do, some of the things it can't. By the end of this video, you will know everything about this tool, so much so that you will even be able to brag to your friends. We'll even compare it to the M18 impact driver as well. But let's get this show on the road. So of course, this is a brushless model. It's the M12 Surge. We have all different size lags that we are going to drive down through not one, but two treated four by six pieces of lumber. And of course, this will all be done without drilling a single pilot hole. We're going to use and abuse. We're using the 3.0 M12 red lithium batteries on this. Now, just to give you a comparison, the Gen 3 Milwaukee Fuel M18 beast of an impact driver. Here it is. You can see that the M18 is quite sizable compared to the Surge. You know, the M3 is pretty small itself, but putting them side by side, you really get a size difference. Now on the M18, all of the adjustments are down towards the bottom where the Surge is all up on top. Everything is digital on this Surge. Now, a lot of people had mentioned on other models that they have trouble seeing these light up, right? Because they all do light up. I don't have an issue with the Milwaukee's. They do a very good job and they are pretty bright, even in the daylight. All right, so the first thing we're going to try, we got some screws here. They are Torx. We're going to go down through the treated 4x6s. You can see that these have longer threads on them. I never have issues on any impact, cheap or expensive. It's a quarter inch six inch long we're going to see how this works out we're going to start it out on the auto mode first i want to see if it stops you know and basically adjust itself accordingly like it should on auto mode all right doing its job adjusting itself stopping itself you know this is nice so if you don't want to damage the material or whatever you're working on when you pull it out, no issue there. So the auto mode works really good, just like on all the other Milwaukee models, very sensitive. So I'm happy with that. And all, oh, you do get a very bright LED light right up in front. I like where it's positioned and it's very bright. So now I wanna go on mode one, two, and three. And again, we'll talk about all the specs here in a bit, but I wanna see what it's able to do on each mode. Does it have control? This is mode one, here we go. So on the mode one, you're looking at zero to 1100 RPM and then up to 950 IPM, that's impacts per minute. All right, so definitely more controlled. You know, you do have that variable trigger. All right, so again, mode one, not bad. You know, more control, definitely a slower impact. Mode 2, you're looking at 2200 RPM and then the IPM 2200. It's not much of a difference, believe it or not. So what we're going to do is we're going to bump it up to mode 3. The RPM for the mode 3, you're looking at 3200. And then the IPM, that's the impact per minute, 3400. So I want to see how that does. Ah, look at it go. All right, mode 3, definitely doing the job. Bringing that down through the treated... Four by six, two of them, but we did stop. You can see that it's blinking right there, so I don't know if they're sagging the voltage or if that battery's starting to overheat. I'm not feeling anything coming off the casing. You know, there is a protective device. I let it set up for about two seconds, and it goes right back to doing it. All right, did what it needed to do. Now we're going to bring it back out, and you will see that it also stops a couple times when I'm bringing it out. So again, not sure if it's just uh, protection in the battery that's, you know, maybe sensing some overheating, or maybe there is some sag, but you let it set for about two seconds, and it starts up again. So not really an issue, just letting you know the case is cool. That's not always the case, though. I'll show you here a little bit later in the video. All right, let's just move it along, shall we? We're going to do some lag bolts. Again, same thing. We're just going to blast them down on speed three, see what happens. Treated four by six stacked on top of each other. Got some blue tape right there. You can see it spinning. Let's go. I said, let's go.
All right, she's a going down through. I'm not putting any downward pressure. I'm just sort of holding it. But you can see it's starting to slow up. And wow, it stopped. You know, I was not expecting it to do that. I really thought it was going to go all the way down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to pull this out you know i got two bars left on the battery which we really haven't been using it all that much you know just to give you a comparison here is the m18 gen 3 fuel and its power difference you know you can really see the difference between the power of the two and i really thought that the m12 was going to be a little bit closer to the M18 than it's turning out to be. Now I know the M18 has a 5.0, it's larger than the 3.0, you know, okay. I know that the 18 volt is bigger than 12 volt and I believe that the 12 volt is actually like 10.4 volt, I get that. But I still thought that it would have been just a little bit closer when it came to power. I'm curious of what you think though, leave me a comment in the comment section and tell me your feelings. All right, now we got some long ones here. Uh, these are called SPACs. They're like 12 inches long. They're huge, um, but they're really cool. You can pick those up at the depot. These are great for, you know, decks and all that good stuff. They're really thin, but really long. The threads on them, not as long, so they're a little bit harder. A lot of impacts really struggle with this, so I'm curious to see how the surge is going to do. We're just putting it on Mo3 and going to town. Here we go. Hmm, really? So we got this down a few inches, um, but it stopped. Now, mind you, there's no pilot holes drilled, and I get that. We use and abuse on this channel, so you don't have to. But again, huge comparison compared to the Surge and the M18. Yes, apples, oranges, maybe, but really, is it? I mean, it's not like we're sort of comparing the two to an impact wrench as an impact driver and it's not that much bigger so I, I just think it should have been a little bit closer in power but let's try it again i'm gonna put a lot of force down on this i push it real good you know i'm really pushing down on this i'm giving it some force i want to bring it down through i want to succeed and i also want to say thank you for subscribing right now at this very moment it means a lot to me but there we go all the way down and yes finally we brought one all the way down through the treated lumber but i can't bring it back up so that's kind of disappointing now we do have one more test coming up i do want to let you know that we are down to two bars on the battery just from doing what we're doing so we're going to switch it out with a brand new battery and we're going to do some half inch lags just gonna bring them on down we're gonna try never failed bringing one of these down through the treated lumber and let's go there she goes can we go the whole way down start now i'll tell you you can really feel that force now on that surge you can just feel the the, the tension in that thing Wow, and it stopped. So, you know, we're on setting three. You know, I'm feeling a little bit of heat coming out of the top, and it's just not going anywhere. Let's try to bring it back up. And yep, it, it is bringing it back up, so that's a good thing. Now, just to show you how much force we actually exert on these impacts during the test, check that out, busted it right in half. So it treated four by six, I mean, there's no relief. It's going down through both of these things. And, you know, here are my final thoughts on the Milwaukee IA Surge. I think if you're using self-taps, I think if you are using this for screws, 
some light work i think this is a fantastic tool but there are limitations major limitations when it comes to doing the heavier stuff oh and by the way i really do like the bell clip there but you know for a milwaukee i i, I sort of felt underwhelmed by this tool and again we're putting these down through treated wood without any pilots right and usually you would always drill a pilot if you drill a pilot you would have no issue at all going through but we're putting these to the test if you're a handyman if you're a plumber if you're a mechanic in construction i think this tool definitely has a place in the field i think it's small i think it's light and it's easy to get into tighter spaces but if you're going out and building decks or major construction projects other than maybe some self tappers or screws or whatever else you know you might want to go with the m18 it's really not that much bigger that said we also had some heat issues when we pushed it to the limit i mean we read up to 150 but it was mostly around the 144 range right on the top of that impact now you can buy the surge by itself for around 119 or you can get the kit right now it's 199 you get the charger you get two batteries and a case which is actually a pretty good deal considering the batteries are both 2.0s it is extremely comfortable in the hand it is a lot smaller especially with that m12 battery the lights are bright they're easy to use you know the battery life it does deplete pretty quick depending on how hard you push it and again if if i was using this on lighter applications this would probably be my go-to just because of how small and ergonomically friendly it is but when it comes to driving lags or large screws or something that needs a little bit more oomph i was kind of underwhelmed by it but that's just my opinion i want to hear yours let me a comment in the comment section let me know what you think about the milwaukee surge do you have it do you plan on getting it what do you like about it what are some of the things you might change about it i mean all in all it's built really well i'm not all that disappointed with it because i know the limitations if you stay within those limitations i think you're going to be really happy if you try to push it i don't think you will be if you like the video don't forget to subscribe hit the bell notification so you don't miss out on any other tool reviews don't forget to smash that like button as it really helps out the video and come say hi to us on the instagram page at tool review zone thanks for stopping by and with that we'll be back with more reviews soon